had real fine teams out on the floor also. And also, we played against Northwestern Prep back in 1980 when a gal by the name of Lisa Quam uh, was playing for uh, the Hornets, and I have many fond memories of that particular game also. So it should be a great one here at the Mecca Arena. Reggie Smith, 6'10", Ryan Vandevoor, 6'4", on the center jump. Six inches to Northwestern, and the Hornets win the tip and move into front court to our left. Columbus opens in a man-to-man. -man. Aaron Robinson, point guard, heads for the far wing. Baseline hits Andy Jacobson. In the lane to Smith, he turns, dribbles back outside again, gives the ball to Zion. Baseline Robinson, Steve Nugent on him. Steve on him pretty tight. Steve Meyer on top, gets a screen from Smith, rolls towards the far side, into Smith, turns, shoots over Van Devorst, and it rolls out, and the rebound to Van Devorst. Columbus back in forecourt, their first possession of the day. Nugent out top, tight defense by Andy Jacobson on. Nugent, the ball knocked loose, but picked up by Magistrelli in the center circle. Magistrelli swings it near side to Nugent, and again, Jacobson on him, very tight in his face, and Nugent needs some, some offensive help, now finds Joel Helms near the center line. Van Divorce at the high post, back door to O'Reilly, Matt dribbles once, drops the ball, goes back up, and the shot's blocked by Zahn and grabbed by Robinson. We played one minute and still no score in this WISA Division II semifinal at the Mecca Arena in Milwaukee. Northwestern back on offense at the high post. Zahn turns on Van Devorst. Comes near side to Jacobson. He drives on Helm. Short jumper up and in. Andy Jacobson gets the basket and Northwestern leads 2-0. Columbus comes back into forecourt. Van Devorst on the near wing. The 6'10 Smith comes out to play him. Van Devorst holds on the arc. Smith on him tight. Lob inside. Knocked down by Robinson. A steal for Northwestern. Robinson down the floor. Drives on Nugent. Baseline shot up and no good. Rebound grabbed by Zahn. He turns on the block. Comes outside again to Robinson. And Northwestern will reset. Near side, Steve Meyer. Can't go baseline. High post hits Zahn, who turns on Van Devorst. Meyer swings to Robinson deep in the far corner. Nugent really overplaying him. Lop at the high post to Zahn. He goes into Smith. He wheels the baseline on Van Devorst. Lost the ball. Picked up by Nugent. Outlet pass to Magistrelli. Columbus in forecourt looking to tie. Magistrelli deep on the near wing. Skip past Nugent on the far side. Can't go baseline. Into Helm. Short jumper up and it rolls off. Smith grabs the rebound for Northwestern. 5.45 remaining first quarter. Northwestern on top, 2-0. Lead pass for Zahn deep in the corner. He drives the baseline, drops the ball, and it's knocked out of bounds by Helms. Each team looking a bit tight in the opening part of this ball game. Very much so, and it looks as though that the Northwestern Prep Hornets have got it a, a, an advantage as far as quickness is concerned. They are a very quick team, but still like to play that half-court game. Very much Ro so. Robinson inbounding, and the pass knocked loose. A steal for Helms on the inbound play. He drives down the floor on Jacobson, gives in to Van Devorst, who misses a lay-in, but he's fouled on the play. Joel Helms stealing the inbound pass for Columbus and driving down the floor, trying to pass off to Ryan Vandevorst for the shot. And Vandevorst found on the play by Andy Jacobson, his first, and the first team foul. And now Columbus making some changes. We'll see 6'2 junior Kevin McCormick and Jason Hurdle, a 6'2 senior. And they replace Magistrelli. And it looks like O'Reilly also left. Ryan Van Devorst, foul line right for Columbus. He is shooting two, and his first is good. 5.34 remaining first period. Watertown leaves Columbus 2-1. Watertown Northwestern Prep and Marshfield Columbus in this WISA Division II semifinal. Second by Van Devorst, short. McCormick rebounds, goes back up and missed the shot. Grabbed by Hurdle, who lays it up and in. Rebound basket for Jason Hurdle of Columbus. And the Dons have their first lead at 3-2, and then Nugent knocks the inbound pass out of bounds off Robinson. It's another Northwestern turnover, and Columbus will inbound baseline front court. McCormick looking far side to Hurdle. He's a dangerous three-point man. He goes baseline, takes a jump shot, and hits it. A two for Jason Hurdle, who has scored four of the first five Columbus points. And the Dons lead early by three. Some backcourt pressure, but Steve Meyer breaks it. Drives baseline, now holds for Northwestern. Robinson brings it back out top, and the Hornets set their offense. We played three minutes. Columbus leads by three. Jacobson in the circle. Takes the jump shot and cans it. Two for Andy Jacobson. And the Columbus lead at 5-4 with 4.50 remaining in the first period. Columbus on offense. High post, Van Devorst looks back door. O'Reilly not free. Van Devorst on the wing, goes back outside to O'Reilly, and that pass is stolen by Meyer. 
The Dons lose it again. Robinson dribbles down the floor, and as he attacks the basket, he draws a foul. Foul called on Jason Hurdle of Columbus, his first, and the first team foul, and Columbus making more changes. Magistrelli back in for Van Devorst. We also see Eric Hiding, a 6'1 junior, and he comes in the ball game as well. 4.35 remaining, first period. Columbus on top, 5-4. Northwestern sets their attack. They go downstairs to Smith, who wheels in on Magistrelli and hits a short jumper. Reggie Smith for two. And Northwestern goes back up by one at 6-5. Columbus basketball, near corner, McCormick. Zahn out to play him. McCormick looks for a cutter, can't find one. Comes out top again to O'Reilly, drops the ball, picked up by Zahn. Northwestern has it back. Lead for Jacobson. He drives and is fouled going up by Magistrelli. Mike Magistrelli on the foul, his first and the second Columbus team foul. Columbus with three early turnovers, Northwestern with two. And Northwestern will get some free throws here. It's Andy Jacobson foul line left for two. With Andy Jacobson on the free throw line for two. Jacobson set, and the first foul shot is up and in. With 4.05 remaining in the first period, Northwestern now leads 7-5 in this WISA Division II semifinal. The second by Jacobson is also good. And Northwestern has a three-point lead, their biggest of the afternoon. Jacobson with six points. He's averaging seven per game, but he has the early hot hand. Columbus on offense. Hurdle on the far wing. Meyer on him tight. Hurdle goes baseline, caught up in traffic, comes outside again to McCormick. In the center, in the uh, circle, Zahn dribbles on here, uh, comes out to play him. Hiding on the near wing, harassed by Robinson. Good half-court man-to-man pressure and another steal. Jacobson takes the ball away from McCormick, drives down the floor and misses the lay-in. And O'Reilly back to grab the rebound. Northwestern missing a good scoring chance. Columbus back on offense. Magistrelli, baseline hurdle, drives the baseline, short jumper blocked, but a foul on the play. As Hurdle went up for that shot, he may have been hit by Jason Zahn. Zahn's first foul, second team foul. Northwestern making their first change of the day. Jacobson out, replaced by Kurt Shazer, a six-foot junior. Ryan Vandevorst and Steve Nugent back in for Columbus for McCormick Jason and O'Reilly. Right Jason Hurdle foul line right for Columbus with two. Zahn tends to be the shot blocker for the uh, Hornets, uh, even though he is the 6'6 person on the team, and they have a 6'10 uh, fellow also there, but he is a shot blocker. And he's quite a ball player, and Hurdle makes the first free throw, giving him five for the day. Columbus trailing 8'6, 323 remaining first period. Second free throw missed. Ball loose on the floor and picked up by Vandevorst. Columbus has it back, looking to tie. Nugent will reset the offense between the circles. Comes to hiding on the near wing. Shazer on him tight. Goes baseline. Pull up jump shot. Off the rim and out. But Shazer fouled him on the play. First foul on Kurt Shazer. And the third team foul. And Eric Hiding will be on the foul line for Columbus. Boy, Northwestern really likes to get right in your face and play defense, don't they, Coach? They are very, very quick, and it's uh, the quickness that the Columbus Dons look as though they're trying to get accustomed to that, and I think that after the game wears on that uh, the Dons might be able to adjust to that, but certainly are surrounding the basketball and placing a tremendous amount of pressure, especially on the dead ball. First of two free throws by Eric Hiding is up and in. We now have 3.09 remaining in the first period, and Northwestern leads Columbus 8-7. In this WISA Division II semifinal, the second foul shot is good. And we are deadlocked at eight, our first tie of the afternoon. We have a dead ball situation, so O'Reilly comes back for Columbus, replacing Hiding. Columbus now four of six on the foul line in the first period. Columbus putting on full court pressure. Zahn looking, comes in long to Robinson. Comes up two on two. He'll drive on Nugent. Feed inside to Meyer, and the ball is taken away by Vandevorst, who kicked the ball away. So Northwestern will retain possession and will inbound. Baseline front court. Robinson will throw it in for Northwestern. He looks underneath Zahn. He'll go up on Magistrelli and miss the layup. Zahn gets it back. The ball stripped loose. Magistrelli has it ahead to Vandevorst. Two on two. Vandevorst down the lane on Shazer, and he carries the basketball. So Columbus turns it over, and the Dons have suffered five turnovers in the first three minutes of basketball. 
Again, Columbus putting on full court pressure. Zahn comes into the 6'10 Smith. He hands back to Robinson, looks long. And now Aaron Robinson starts up the floor on Steve Nugent. Northwestern front court left. And Nugent reaches in on Robinson and fouls him. Reach in on Nugent, his first foul, and the third Columbus Colorado team foul. Helms will come back for Columbus. And he replaces Hurdle. Northwestern inbounding at the hash mark. The lob up for Smith, and he'll hand back to Robinson. Again, Nugent gets tight on Aaron Robinson. Robinson still holds, now starts to move, goes baseline to Meyer. He'll put up a long shot from the corner. It's offline, and we have a rebounding foul on Reggie Smith, who went over a couple of Columbus defenders to get that loose ball. First foul on Reggie Smith of Northwestern, and the fourth team foul. Two and a half remaining in the first period. Northwestern and Columbus deadlocked at eight apiece. Columbus on offense, front court right. Hurdle picks up, or uh, Nugent picks up the dribble. Baseline, Magistrelli on a drive. Lean in shot up and in. Mike Magistrelli challenging the 6'10", Reggie Smith. Went right to the basket, and Columbus now up by two. Northwestern breaks to forecourt. Robinson on a drive, cut off, lob in the lane, stolen away by O'Reilly. And Columbus gets it back with a two-point lead. O'Reilly down the floor, far side to Magistrelli, into Helms, rolls towards the hole and walks with the ball. Helms turned and found no one between he and the basket. He was too anxious and he carried it. Northwestern now will take a timeout, their first of the day. With 1.59 remaining in the first period, it's Columbus 10, Northwestern 8. And we'll come right back to Milwaukee following this message. Andy Jacobson back in the ball game for Northwestern. Steve Meyer leaves. Northwestern has the ball in backcourt, trailing by two late in the first period. Aaron Robinson at the point for the Northwestern Hornets, looking for their fourth WISA state championship in eight years. Columbus puts on some backcourt pressure. Northwestern breaks it, and a pass across floor, though, is broken up and stolen by Helms, who then walks with it coming out. The press seems to be bothering Northwestern Prep at this particular time and not where most fans might believe, at the half-court line, but rather after they get it down on the half-court side. Northwestern now resets their offense. Robinson top of the circle, Nugent on him. Robinson drives into Smith, goes up strong and missed the shot. Falls loose below the basket and O'Reilly grabs it for Columbus. The Dons come back into forecourt, leading by two. O'Reilly on a drive to the baseline, into McCormick, and he drops the ball, picked up by Robinson. Northwestern the other way. Lead pass for Jacobson, he drives and lays it in. Andy Jacobson has eight of the Hornets' first ten points, and we're tied at ten apiece. Columbus back down the floor. Helms between the circles, far side to Magistrelli, and the ball's batted out of bounds by Zahn. Steve Meyer, Meyer back in for Northwestern and for Columbus. Van Devorst, Hurdle, and Hiding all come back in for Helms, Nugent, and Magistrelli. 1-12 remaining, first period. We're tied at 10. O'Reilly at the far hash mark. Robinson on him very tight. O'Reilly backs in, top of the circle. Picks up his dribble, goes to McCormick. Back door, Van Devorst. He'll go up on Smith and lay it in. Ryan Vandevorst with the basket, and Columbus back up by two in the final minute of the first period. Northwestern breaks the press, and Jacobson to forecourt. Can't go baseline. The ball's knocked loose, but picked up by Robinson. He lobs cross-court to Smith. Knocked down, picked up by Meyer. Back outside, Smith dribbling, goes cross-court to Zahn with 40 seconds in the period. Northwestern now sets their offense. Far side, Jacobson turns on Hurdle. Looks in, goes down low to Smith. Free throw line to Zahn, 30 on the clock. Back to Smith, and he may have been pushed from behind. I believe, uh, Coach, that the Dons are playing a guard on Smith that time and just having somebody, it uh, looks like Jason Hurdle was offering some help behind uh, the big man Smith there. Kevin McCormick got the foul on the push from behind. That's his first and the fourth team foul. When the Dons stand up to Ned, next to Reggie Smith at 6'10", all of them look like guards <laughs> to me, and uh, they certainly are collapsing and helping out. 5'9", senior Tim Westendorf in for Northwestern. Smith gets the inbound pass, goes hard to the basket and misses a shot, but draws a foul. 6'2", senior Neil Schliwe, also in the contest for Northwestern. Foul called against the Columbus Dons. It's on Eric Hiding, his first and the fifth team foul. And Smith was shooting, so he is line left for two. Reggie Smith, 6'10", senior, averaging 16 points and 13 rebounds per game. And his first foul shot is offline. 
with 25 seconds remaining in the first period. Columbus leads Northwestern 12 to 10. Smith with his uh, second foul shot. It's on the way and it rolls off and Ben divorced rebounds for Columbus. 22 seconds in the period. Let's see if the Dons play for one. O'Reilly across the timeline with 17. Harassed by Schlee. and Smith takes the ball away from him. The 6'10 guy makes the defensive play. Dribbles in the forecourt. Hands back to Westendorf. Seven on the clock. Six, five, near side. Meyer, a long jump shot. No good. McCormick rebounds. Taken away and thrown up at the horn, but missed as time expires. And after one quarter of basketball in this WISA Division II semifinal, it's Marshfield Columbus 12, Watertown Northwestern Prep 10. And we'll have second quarter action in just a moment. Marshfield Columbus leading Watertown Northwestern Prep 12-10 as we go to the second quarter. Columbus has the basketball front court right. Their biggest lead so far has been three. Northwestern's biggest lead also three. A lob in the lane and Jason Zahn steals it for Northwestern. Ahead to Schliwe and on the drive he misses a shot but draws a foul. Boy, Columbus now has turned the ball over nine times in this ball game but they still lead by two. Well, number 32, Mike Magistrelli. Magistrelli gets that foul for Columbus, his team second team and the sixth team foul, and Neil Schliwe will shoot free throws for Northwestern. He's a 6'2 senior, gets two foul shots, and the first is away and no good. Early in the second period, and Columbus Kevin leading McCormick Northwestern 12 to 10. Kevin McCormick back for Columbus, replacing Mike Magistrelli. The winner plays Racine Lutheran or Oshkosh Lords in the championship game tomorrow at 6 p.m. Here's the second by Schliwe. That one's good. And the Columbus lead down to one. No pressure from Northwestern as Matt O'Reilly comes into forecourt for Columbus. Lost the dribble, gets it back. And Robinson on him tight again. Finds Van Devorst near wing, drives on Zahn. Baseline, leans in, shoots off the glass, around and in. Ryan Van Devorst with the basketball, with the basket, and the Don's lead goes up to three. Again, Columbus with pressure. Jacobson hands it back to Meyer. He'll come into forecourt for Northwestern, and now Robinson sets the offense for the Hornets. Three-point lead matches the Don's biggest. Near side, Meyer on the arc, defense by Hiding to the baseline, and Hiding stops him. Jacobson needs some help. The ball's tipped loose, and Van Devorst tries to steal it, but it's grabbed by Jacobson out near the center line. Northwestern will get the ball back and reset. Robinson in the center circle, defense by O'Reilly. Seven minutes remaining, first half. Columbus by three. In the circle, Jacobson to Meyer. Free throw line jumper rims out. McCormick takes the rebound away from Schliwe. Columbus on offense with a three-point lead. O'Reilly across the line on Robinson. Down the lane to Vandevorst into McCormick. He goes up strong, missed the shot. Ball tipped in the corner and grabbed by Meyer. Here comes Northwestern the other way. Robinson to forecourt. Lead to Zahn. He's on a drive. Layup no good. Missed the layup. And the ball out of bounds to Northwestern. The Dons are really getting their hands on the basketball practically every single time that Northwestern Prep is shooting. And of course, uh, you know, when we were setting up the game, we were talking about the different styles of play. I really do believe that this Northwestern Prep can move the ball up and down the floor too. I'm not sure it's in their best interest. Reggie Smith back in the game for Northwestern. He gets the inbound pass, goes baseline, stopped by McCormick, and McCormick on him tight, pass inside to Jacobson, and he was pushed from behind by either Helms or McCormick. Looks like Joel Helms gets that one. First foul on Joel Helms. The seventh team foul, so Northwestern in the bonus at 621 of the second period. We'll get some Hornets free throws. Large contingent of fans from the Marshfield area down here to root on the Columbus Dons. A smaller group from Watertown to cheer on the Northwestern Hornets, but uh, they're here in full force nonetheless. Two free throws for Andy Jacobson, one and one rather, and Jacobson makes the first, and he has nine of Northwestern's first 12 points. 6.21 remaining, first half, and Columbus leads 14 to 12. The second by Jacobson is short and taken by Joel Helms. Quick outlet feed to Nugent. Columbus in forecourt, down the lane, McCormick on a drive, stop, takes a 10-footer and connects. 
two for Kevin McCormick. And Columbus opens a four-point lead, their biggest of the afternoon. Again, the Dons press, but Meyer breaks it, drives the baseline, takes a jump shot, and misses. The ball is taken by McCormick. Columbus gets it back with a four-point lead. O'Reilly to forecourt, near side Nugent. Looks in, Van Devorst not free. He drives, takes a 10-footer. It's partially blocked by Smith, grabbed by McCormick, who turns and fires, misses the shot, and Zahn rebounds. Lead pass for, for Jacobson. He's on a drive down the floor and missed the lay-in. Tip to Nugent. Columbus come in the other way. Lead for McCormick. He'll hold, drops the ball, and is tipped out of bounds to Columbus. Play getting a bit ragged here. We kind of had end-to-end -end basketball, and neither team could really hold up to that pace. And just by looking at the expression on Paul Bartolis' face, he really does not want this type of a game. Columbus sets their offense, leading by four. Nugent on the near wing, looks for some help. Van Devorst outside the arc. Smith chasing him along the perimeter. Van Devorst holds the ball, starts to drive, can't take the baseline, picks up the dribble. Wants some help. Lobs back out top for Nugent. Picked up by Robinson on defense, cross court to Helms. Helms on a drive, falls down. The ball's taken away by Meyer. Lead for Robinson. He drives down the floor and lays it in. Aaron Robinson with the basket. And the Columbus lead down to two. Five minutes remaining, first half. Columbus basketball, Nugent between the circles. Robinson again defensing him very tight. In the lane, Van Devorst around Zahn. Shot goes up, no good. Tipped up and in by O'Reilly. Matt O'Reilly on the tip in. Columbus goes up by four. That was a major league play by Matt O'Reilly. Again, the Dons put on pressure. Meyer comes down the floor for Northwestern, holds on the far wing. Gives back out top to Robinson. The Hornets reset their half-court offense. Nugent out to harass Robinson. Pass on the far wing to Meyer. Down low to Smith. Goes up strong and missed the shot. Tipped in the corner and grabbed by Jacobson. He'll take a baseline 10-footer. It's no good. Smith tips the rebound away. Out of bounds to Columbus. For Columbus, Hurdle and Hiding and Ira Martin all come in. Martin's a 6'4 junior, making his first appearance. Shazer and Schleewe back in for Northwestern for Zahn and Jacobson. 4'18 remaining, first half, and Columbus leads 18-14. Columbus on offense, front court right. O'Reilly, high post to Martin, looks back door. The ball's taken away by Robinson. And Northwestern has another steal. Robinson breaks back into forecourt. Goes baseline to Schleewe, takes a short jumper and connects. Neil Schleewe with the basket. And Northwestern back to within two. Columbus has now committed 11 turnovers in the first half. Don's on offense. O'Reilly to the free throw line. Down the lane, takes a 10-footer. Good. Matt O'Reilly with the basket for Columbus. And again, the Don's lead is at four. Columbus again putting on full court pressure. Pass comes into Smith, but we have a foul on the play. On O'Reilly, he may have been holding Smith as Reggie got that to inbound pass. First foul on Matt O'Reilly, so we'll walk the floor, and Reggie Smith will get a one-and-one. One. Kevin McCormick returns for Columbus for Ryan Vandevorst. Right now, Gene, Northwestern Prep is shooting 50% from the free throw line. And uh, actually, you know, that, uh, that particular stat might not be as significant right now because I'm sure most of the teams are very tight and uh, it seems as though the free throw, the ball is in the cylinder but not dropping down for them. Reggie Smith, 0 of 2 on the free throw line this afternoon. He has scored just one basket so far today. He gets a one in bonus and his first is good. We have 3.35 remaining in the first half and Marshfield Columbus leads Watertown Northwestern Prep 20 to 17. Winner plays for the WISA Division II State Championship tomorrow at 6. The second by Smith, also good. And once again, a two-point lead Andy for Columbus. Jacobson. For Northwestern, Andy Jacobson is back, replacing Steve Meyer. Columbus coming length of the floor. No pressure from Watertown Northwestern Prep. McCormick, between the circles, goes to Hurdle on the far wing. Trying to drive on Jacobson, back out top to Martin. Ira Martin with the basketball, dribbles once, goes baseline to Nugent. Can't find McCormick, pass inside, knocked down and out of bounds, last hit by Jacobson. Almost another Columbus turnover, but Jacobson fumbled the ball out of bounds. Columbus will throw it in, baseline front court. McCormick looking, goes underneath to Hiding, and the ball's knocked loose again out of bounds by Northwestern. Columbus really not taking care of the basketball very well today, but they still hold a two-point lead. That's that tremendous quickness, Gene, by the prep players. McCormick again to inbound. He's looking and lobs way outside to Nugent near the timeline. 
Steve dribbles to the free throw line, comes to hiding on the wing near side. Eric to the baseline, leans in, takes a shot, no good. Hurdle rebounds and tips it in. Rebound basket for Jason Hurdle of Columbus. Again, a four-point lead for Columbus with 2.55 left in the first half. Northwestern coming back into forecourt. Robinson backs across the line on Nugent. Robinson drives to the foul line into Smith. He goes up strong and lays it in. Basket for Reggie Smith. And again, a two-point lead for Columbus. Don's on offense. Here's hiding outside the arc. He goes baseline, pulls up, lobs cross court. Martin up high. Right back to hiding on the near wing. Shazer out to play him. Hiding baseline stop. Comes back out front to Nugent. Far side to McCormick. Baseline to, to uh, Martin. Hurdle trying to post inside. Can't get free. Hurdle has it now out top. Drops the ball. Robinson steals it and shovels it out to Jacobson. He drives down the floor on Hurdle and misses the lay-in. Martin back for the rebound. Boy, Northwestern has now missed, I believe, three lay-ins, three breakaway lay-ins so far in this game. Columbus back on offense, still up by two. Two minutes remaining, first half. Hurdle in the circle to McCormick on the far side. Schliwe out to play him tight. Down low, Hurdle is open, goes up and lays it in. Jason Hurdle got open inside the Northwestern defense. And again, a four-point lead for Columbus. Northwestern ball. Robinson, top of the circle for Northwestern, sets the Hornets' half-court attack. Holds the ball on Nugent, drive to the circle, stopped by Nugent. Goes up high to Schliwe, into Smith, short jumper off the glass, no good. Grabbed by McCormick, ahead to Nugent. Here comes Columbus in the forecourt. Nugent to the far side, holds the ball, into Martin, drops the ball, and we have a call. Martin was held, I believe, by Schliwe as he rolled towards the basket. Neil Schliwe on the foul, his first, only the fifth team foul. Van Devorst back for Columbus, replacing Martin. And for Northwestern, Schliwe is out, and Shazer is out. Westendorf is back in, and Zahn back in. Columbus inbounding, baseline front court. McCormick looking to come in. Goes underneath the hiding, turns on Smith, a hook shot, no good, and Smith grabs the rebound. 120 remaining, first half, Columbus by four. And Tim Westendorf, now at the point for Northwestern, crosses the timeline on Nugent. To the far wing, picks up his dribble. Into Smith, he turns on the block, comes right back outside to Westendorf. He'll hold the ball, 105 remaining in the period. Far side, Jacobson lobs up top to Zahn at the foul line, spins on McCormick, pushes up the shot and misses, and McCormick rebounds ahead to Nugent. Final minute, first half, Columbus by four. Hurdle, far side. Can't take that three, which he is so prolific in. Northwestern has really shut that down today. North uh, Randevorst to hiding in the circle. Eric holds the ball, 40 on the clock, back door to Nugent. Steve gets in deep and comes back outside with it, and Smith takes the ball away. Northwestern has it with 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Columbus leads by four. And Westendorf walks across the timeline for Northwestern. To the free throw line, goes down the lane, and Nugent may have hand-checked him as he attacked the basket. Steve Nugent on the foul for Columbus, his second. And a quick change for Columbus. Matt O'Reilly back in for Nugent. Magistrelli and Nugent both have two fouls for Columbus. No one on the northwestern side has more than one. Tim Westendorf shooting one and bonus for Northwestern. Line left with 22 seconds remaining in the half. The first by Westendorf missed everything will be out of bounds to Columbus. Aaron Robinson back in for Northwestern, replacing Westendorf. 22 seconds remaining first half. Four-point lead for Columbus. The Dons may play for a final shot. O'Reilly across the line with 15. Picks up his dribble. Out top, McCormick with 11. Far side, Hurdle with 10. 9. Spins it near side to O'Reilly with 7. And he's bumped and fouled as he drives the lane. And a call on Steve Meyer of Northwestern, his first. That is only the sixth Columbus team foul. Steve Meyer, his first so Columbus still Steve not foul. shooting. They're inbounding baseline front court with six seconds remaining in the period. Columbus will inbound baseline front court, six seconds to shoot. McCormick will toss it in. He looks. Van Devorst baseline with five, four in the lane, gets Smith in the air, takes a short jumper and banks it in. Two seconds on the clock and that will end the half. 
So the Columbus Guns go to the locker room at halftime, leading by six, their biggest margin of the afternoon. Our halftime score, Marshfield, Columbus, 26, Watertown, Northwestern Prep, 20. And we'll check the first half scoring and stats following these messages. And uh, certainly a real nice basketball player, too. So we've got a great uh, second half to go here, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yes, I was surprised uh, seeing Smith. I uh, heard he was 6'10 and 240, but he's a very slender-looking young man. Does not look like he's got any fat on him at all. A real very agile, solid. and uh, he'll be a fine college player. He's on his way to the University of Maine to play his college basketball, and he should fit into the Black Bears program very, very well. Certainly. You didn't know I knew what their nickname was, did you? No, I didn't. Well, I think I'm, I'm most impressed with that, Well, team. I'm sure you are. Well, we're about to start the third quarter of basketball here at the Mecca Arena in Milwaukee. Wissa Division II semifinals. The winner will play Racine Lutheran or Oshkosh Lords for the State Division II championship tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. As we start the second half, Columbus leads Northwestern by six. Northwestern has the basketball, and they'll move into front court to our right. Point guard Aaron Robinson out top. Steve Nugent defending him. Robinson starts to attack to the foul line. Takes that shot from right there and misses. Long rebound to Nugent. Columbus on offense with a six-point lead early third period. Nugent down the far sideline. Robinson pressuring him very, very steadily. Ball knocked loose and Robinson makes a steal and then a foul on the re-steal. Let's see who they call that on. Both Robinson and Nugent pushing for the ball. It'll be on Steve Nugent of Columbus. That's the third on Nugent and the first team foul. Columbus now has suffered 13 turnovers in this ball game. And Northwestern gets the ball back, trailing by six early in the third period. Again, Aaron Robinson at the point for Northwestern Prep. One-on-one -on -one with Nugent at the far hash mark. He starts to drive, goes into Smith. He drops the ball, picks it back up, turns on the block, short jumper good. Reggie Smith with the basket. And the Columbus lead is down to four. Don's moving back into forecourt. Nugent lost his dribble, so he has to pick it up and lob across the line to O'Reilly. He's defensed by Jacobson. O'Reilly baseline, no shot in the corner. Swings it free throw line to Van Devorst, down the lane, and he'll be called for a walk. Van Devorst turns the ball over. And Columbus loses possession once again. Early in the third period, and Columbus leads Northwestern 26-22. Columbus putting on full court pressure. Smith has the basketball, hands back to Robinson. And now the Hornets move up the floor. Long front court pass to Meyer. He drives on Van Devorst and misses a short jumper. Zahn rebounds and lays it in, and he's fouled on the play. Jason Zahn gets his first basket of the afternoon, a rebound basket, and he draws a foul. That'll be on Mike Magistrelli, and Magistrelli now has three fouls. That's his the uh, second team foul for Columbus. And that will send Magistrelli to the bench and Kevin, Kevin McCormick, McCormick back in. McCormick led both ball clubs in rebounding with five Zahn during the first the half. So he played well for Columbus off the bench in the first two periods. Jason Zahn will try the three-point play. His foul shot rims out, and Van Devorst has the rebound. So Columbus still leads by two. Van Devorst dribbles in the forecourt for the Dons. To the far wing, defensed by Smith, picks up his dribble. Goes back door to Nugent, and the pass is stolen away by Jacobson. And here's Northwestern back up the floor. Lead for Smith, goes baseline, shoots over Helms, and connects. Ten points for Reggie Smith. And Columbus has not had a shot yet here in the second half. They've turned the ball over three times, and the ball game is tied at 26. Don's back on offense. Nugent on the far wing, Robinson on him tight. Into Van Devorst, hands back door to Helms, who goes up and hits the lay-in. Joel Helms with the basket on the feed from Van Devorst. The Columbus lead back up to two, and again the Dons put on backcourt pressure. Jacobson across the line for the Hornets. Passes cross-court to Meyer, baseline shot, banked in. Steve Meyer for two, and we're deadlocked at 28. We've now had four ties in this ballgame. It's Columbus basketball, 5.50 remaining third period. O'Reilly, free throw line to McCormick, baseline Nugent takes the shot, it's too long, and Smith rebounds, outlets to, to Robinson, he has a breakout, drives on Nugent, layup is no good, but Robinson fouled on the play as he went to the basket. And that'll put Aaron Robinson on the free throw line with a chance to give Northwestern their first lead since the first period. Matt O'Reilly gets that foul, his second, team's third. Hurdle and hiding back in for Columbus. 
Nugent and Helms are out. And now a change for Northwestern. Neil Schliwe returns. And he'll replace Smith. Aaron Robinson shooting free throws for the first time today. He'll get two foul line right. Robinson for two. Robinson set. And his first free throw is up, around, and off. And with 5.37 remaining in the third period, Columbus and Northwestern tied at 28. Second foul shot by Robinson. This one also short. And McCormick has another rebound for Columbus. So Northwestern misses their chance to go back in front. O'Reilly down the floor on a drive. Gives to Hiding. Baseline shot rims out. Pulled in by Jacobson. And Northwestern has it back. Again a chance to regain the lead. Robinson moves across the timeline on O'Reilly. Robinson top of the circle. O'Reilly gives him lots of room with Robinson's great quickness. The lob back door, Zahn open underneath, hits the lay-in. Jason Zahn on the lob, and that gives Northwestern a two-point lead with five minutes remaining in the third period. Columbus back down the floor. O'Reilly has the ball taken away by Robinson. Robinson dribbles down the floor on Hiding, missed the layup, and Hiding fouled him from behind. Second foul on Eric Hiding, the fourth team foul. Columbus now has 16 turnovers and will have a Don's timeout, their first of the afternoon. With 4.52 remaining in the third period, our score, Northwestern Prep 30, Columbus 28. And we'll return to Milwaukee in just a moment. Well, Northwestern has outscored Columbus 10-2 in the first three minutes of the third period, and the Hornets now have a two-point lead at 30-28. Aaron Robinson on the foul line for Northwestern. The Hornets are 6 of 14 shooting free throws so far today. Two shots for Robinson, and he makes the first. Northwestern now up by 3, 31-28. The second by Aaron Robinson. That one rims out, and the rebound to Eric Hiding of Columbus. The Dons have the ball, trailing by three. O'Reilly between the circles. Hands to McCormick out near the center line. Kevin starts to drive, throws it cross court, out of bounds. Another Columbus turnover. They have five in this period, 17 for the ball game. Northwestern has but three. And Columbus puts on some backcourt pressure. Looks like a diamond press. Northwestern breaks it. Pass inside is kicked out of bounds by Van Devorst as Meyer tried to throw the ball cross court to Schliwe. Magistrelli will come back for Columbus. And he'll play for McCormick. And Northwestern is inbounding baseline front court. Aaron Robinson, the fine Hornets point guard, will toss it in. He goes baseline to Smith. He drives inside and gets held as he went towards the basket. And we'll have another foul against Columbus. That's on Ryan Vandevorst, only his first. But already the fifth team foul against Columbus, while Northwestern has not been whistled for a foul in this period. And Reggie Smith was shooting, so he is back on the foul line to our right for two more. Smith is ready. And the first foul shot is good. 4.27 remaining third period. Northwestern now on top, 32 to 28. Second shot for Reggie Smith is up and in. Northwestern by five. This is their biggest lead of the afternoon. The Hornets with some backward pressure and O'Reilly is blocked and fouled at the timeline by Steve Meyer. Number two on Meyer and the first Hornets team foul. foul number 44, Andy Steve Jacobson Meyer, returns for Northwestern. And he'll replace Kurt Shazer. Columbus inbounding near the center line. Trailing by five, their biggest deficit of the afternoon. Long inbound pass to Hiding below the basket. Drops it, picks it up, goes back up, misses the shot. And Smith there for the rebound. Triple T, but Smith comes away with it. Looks for some help and carries the basketball as he makes an outlet pass. So Northwestern loses control of the basketball, and Columbus gets it back. Quickly, Jason Zahn will again report in for Northwestern, and he'll replace Neil Schliwe. Columbus inbounding, baseline, front court. Magistrelli looking. 
still looking, comes into Van Devorst on the near side. Ryan baseline, double teamed, needs some help and lost it, but picked up by Hiding on the wing. Eric double teamed, it's poked away by Robinson, out of bounds over the end line. Robinson is so quick with his hands and has been getting his hand on the basketball, much like the Dons were in the first quarter against the big people. Halfway through the third period, Northwestern on top, 33 to 28. Magistrelli inbounding in the corner, can't get the ball in, so he calls a timeout. And Don's coach Andy Banasek not very happy with the way his team played that inbounds play. They have to use their second timeout. 4:01 remaining, third period, and Northwestern leads Columbus 33 to 28. We'll come right Next back in just a moment. Columbus on offense, trailing by five, and we have a foul as Matt O'Reilly dribbles out top. Aaron Robinson reaches in on him. First foul on Aaron Robinson of Northwestern. The second Hornets team foul. And Columbus inbounding, sideline front court. Van Divorce comes into O'Reilly near the center line. Dons have been outscored 13 to two here in the third period. Hurdle on the far wing, pass cross court to Van Divorce at the high post. Ryan spins it back outside to Hurdle, knocked down a steal for Robinson. He gives the ball to Jacobson, who drives and lays it in, and he's fouled on the play. Andy Jacobson gets the basket off the steal by Aaron Robinson. And once again, the Dons turn the ball over. They have 18 turnovers in this ball game. Mike Magistrelli commits the foul. That's four on Mike and the sixth team foul. And Jacobson on the foul line will try the three-point play. The shot goes up. It's no good and tipped around to Van Devorst. And now a seven-point lead for Northwestern. Columbus on offense. O'Reilly can't get down the lane. He's called for carrying the basketball. Boy, everything going wrong for Columbus here in the third period. Well, the problem, Gene, is that we've had the, the Marshfield Columbus Dons have had a lot of success driving to the baseline, and now it appears as though that Northwestern Prep is cutting that off, and it's, of course, frustrating the guards. And, of course, the second area, they're getting a tremendous amount of pressure from the forwards also. Inbound pass slapped loose by McCormick and stolen by O'Reilly. Matt shoots from the corner and misses, and Smith gets the rebound for Northwestern, and then a violation as Smith comes up the floor. He walks with the ball. And Columbus will retain possession. The Dons will inbound baseline front court. McCormick has the ball tipped loose on the inbound play. Zahn steals, outlets to Robinson. And Columbus loses the ball, and here's Watertown Northwestern Prep back on offense, leading by seven. Robinson out top on O'Reilly. Lobs back door to Smith. He goes up and throws it in. Smith on the lob play. He has three baskets in this period, and now a nine-point lead for Northwestern. Columbus basketball. Nugent between the circles comes to O'Reilly. High post Van Devorst. Turns, goes down the lane. Layup up. No good. Blocked by Zahn. Northwestern has it back. Uh, head to Meyer. He passes to uh, Robinson going down the lane. Has no shot. Comes out again. Zahn on the foul line. Shoots and hits. Jason Zahn for two. It's an 11-point lead for Northwestern, and Columbus has to use another timeout. They have used three timeouts in this period. We have 2.34 remaining in the third quarter. It is now Northwestern Prep 39 and Columbus 28. And we'll have more basketball in just a moment. Northwestern has outscored Columbus 19 to two here in the third period. And Northwestern now leads by 11. Ricky Merkel now in the ball game for Columbus, playing the point. He has the ball out top, comes near side to Van Devor, swings at baseline hurdle. Jason takes a three, it's offline, and rebounded by Zahn. And Zahn fouled on the rebound attempt. I believe Van Devor got him. That would be number two on Van Devor, and the seventh team foul. And Northwestern in the bonus at 217 of the third period. That's Jason Hurdle's first miss tonight. He was four for four before that attempt. And his first three-point attempt. In fact, the three-point attempt, first free uh, three-point attempt we've had by either squad. Hurdle has made 33 three-point baskets this season. But uh, that was his first try of the afternoon. Jason Zahn shooting free throws for Northwestern. Foul line right. 
he'll get a one and one. And boy, Northwestern has committed only two team fouls in this second half. So they are in the bonus quite early compared to Columbus. Jason Zahn, free throw line. Zahn getting set for his free throws. One and one, and the first is short, but Smith grabs the rebound. But we have a foul called against Columbus on the rebound effort. That's on Van de Voorst, pushing Smith out of the way. And that's three on Van de Voorst. So now for Columbus, Magistrelli has four. Nugent and Van de Voorst each with three, and McCormick will come back in the ballgame for Van de Voorst. The size of Smith is very intimidating, even on the free throws. He jumps into the middle of the lane and seems like he's able to cover a lot of ground with his arm span. 6'10 and quite agile. His first foul shot, good. And Smith has 15 points this afternoon, 9 here in the third quarter. 2.16 remaining, third period. Northwestern now leads 40-28. to 28. The second by Smith is also good. So it's a 13-point lead for Northwestern. And Columbus has the ball back. Merkel at the far hash mark, stopped by Westendorf. Dribbles to the circle, gives to McCormick. Baseline to Hurdle. Looking in for Martin, he can't get free. Hurdle still holds the ball on the wing. Hands to Martin outside the arc. 6-4, Ira Martin gives it back to Hurdle. And on that exchange, there's a foul on Northwestern. Steve Meyer gets that foul. That's his third. Third team foul. Myers, the only Hornet with more than one free throw or with a one foul. Jacobson and Robinson back in for Meyer and Westendorf in the Hornets lineup. Columbus inbounding, sideline front court. Pass comes out top to Hurdle. Jason brings it near side to O'Reilly. Matt goes baseline, down the lane, pull up jump shot, no good. And the rebound taken away by Zahn, lost in the corner and grabbed there by Shazer. Northwestern has the ball with a minute 40 remaining in the third period. They're up by 13. Robinson into forecourt on Merkel. Standing dribble out top, starts to penetrate, goes into Smith. He shoots over Martin and connects. 18 for Reggie Smith. Columbus now down by 15. Don's back on offense. Merkel far corner. Lobs back out top to Hurdle. A long three is up and off the back of the rim. And we have a rebounding foul. About four guys colliding on the inside. A call coming against Columbus. Somebody got in there very aggressively. It's Ira Martin, the first on Ira. I thought that was going to be called on Reggie Smith. And uh, actually, when I see how Northwestern prep crashes the boards after the three-point shot, it might not be a bad idea to take a few three-pointers. Well, I know your Columbus girls team, known for their three-pointer, so well, I guess for I you, any time is a great sh t time to shoot a three-pointer. Uh, you're right, Gene. Reggie Smith has now made six straight free throws. He misses this one. Martin grabs the rebound for Columbus, then throws the ball away. It's loose in the far corner. Players are diving on the floor, and a tie ball is called. And possession is awarded to Columbus. Columbus has the ball back with a minute seven remaining in the third period. Northwestern now leads 43 to 28. Northwestern has outscored Columbus here in the third period 23 to two. And here come the Dons back in forecourt trying to get something going. Merkel across the line on Robinson carries the basketball. Nine turnovers against Columbus here in the third period. 21 for the ball game. Northwestern with only five. And Northwestern now up by 15. Final minute, third period. Robinson passes to forecourt. Gives the ball to Smith. He drives the baseline. Hooks it inside to Schleewe. He hands to Meyer. But uh, we got a three-second call on Schleewe. He was in the lane too long. Columbus coming back down the floor, trailing by 15. Final minute in the third period. Merkel across the line on Robinson with 40 on the clock. Hurdle out front, harassed by Jacobson. O'Reilly to the free throw line, takes the jump shot and misses and is knocked down and fouled on the play. Kurt Shazer gets that foul, his second, team's fourth. And Matt O'Reilly will shoot free throws for Columbus. For Northwestern, Westendorf for Robinson. And for Columbus, Hiding replaces Merkel. Matt O'Reilly, 70% free throw shooter for the season. And he is a line left shooting two.
O'Reilly set his first foul shot, no good. Just 32 seconds remaining in the third period, and Northwestern leads 43 to 28. The second by O'Reilly is up and in. Five points for Matt tonight. 14-point lead for Northwestern. They'll put on backcourt pressure. Columbus will. Smith lobs the ball into fourth court to Westendorf. Comes down the near sideline, now brings it back outside. 25 seconds remaining, third quarter. Baseline, Jacobson into Smith, turns on Martin, drive towards the basket, short jumper, rolls off, rebound to, Sh to Schliwe, back up and he lays it in. Rebound basket for Neil Schliwe, 10 seconds in the period. Columbus to forecourt, O'Reilly far wing with six, five in the lane to hiding, he was blocked as he attacked the basket. A call against Northwestern, that'll be on Andy Jacobson, his second, only the fifth team foul. So the Don's not shooting, they're inbounding, baseline front court with three seconds in the period. And Northwestern coach Paul Bertolas will rush in Zahn for Smith for the final three seconds of the quarter. Columbus inbounding, baseline front court, three seconds to shoot. McCormick looking, lobs out top hurdle with two, with one, a long three is well short of the mark as time expires. After three quarters, it's Northwestern Prep 45, Columbus 29, and we'll have the fourth quarter in just a moment. Well, fans from Columbus are on their feet, cheering the Dons, who now trail by 16. The inbound pass for Northwestern goes to Meyer, and he misses from the wing. Long rebound tracked down by Nugent, and he's run into by Schliwe. Foul on Neil Schliwe of Northwestern, his second team six. Boy, a real disastrous third quarter, though, for Columbus. They were outscored 25-3 to three in the third period. So Northwestern has come from six down to lead by 16 early in the fourth quarter. Columbus on offense, front court left. Hurdle on the wing, can't drive the baseline, stopped by Meyer. And we have a foul on the inside. As Van Devorst tried to get free, he was held by Zahn. Second foul on Jason Zahn, the seventh team foul. And Columbus in the bonus at 7.42 of the fourth period. I only remember about three or four shots that the Columbus Dons were able to get at the basket. And of course, if you do not get the opportunities, you're not going to have a chance to score. And a lot of that because of nine turnovers charged to Columbus during the third period. Van Devorst shooting one and one. He makes the first. Barb Carl producing our broadcast with Paul Rozak. I'm Gene Delicia at the Mecca Arena in Milwaukee. WISA Division II semifinals. Early fourth quarter, Northwestern Prep leads Columbus 45-30. And the second foul shot missed by Van Devorst. Grabbed by O'Reilly. He has the shot blocked. Picked up by Hurdle in the lane. Ten-footer rolls off and Zahn rebounds. Northwestern has the ball and Zahn fouled as he comes up the floor. Another Columbus foul, and boy, they have some foul difficulties. Magistrelli has four, Van Devorst and Nugent with three. That foul on O'Reilly, he now has three. And for Northwestern, Schliwe out, and Reggie Smith returns. And more free throws for Northwestern. Jason Zahn will get a one and one. Northwestern just 11 of 23 on the foul line so far this afternoon, but they still lead by 15. Zahn's foul shot is good. Early in the fourth quarter, and Northwestern on top, 46 to 30. Northwestern trying to win their fourth state championship since 1985 with two wins this weekend. The second foul shot also good by Jason Zahn. He has eight points all in the second half. 17-point lead for Northwestern. Columbus on the attack. Hurdle out top, goes into Van Devorst, rolls towards the hole, has the shot knocked loose. It's on the floor, and Robinson comes away with it for Northwestern. Dribbles hard to forecourt, three on two, gives to Zahn, drives the baseline, lays it in. Ten points for Jason Zahn, and a 19-point lead for Northwestern. Here's Columbus back up the floor. Magistrelli on top. That lane is open, goes baseline. Hurdle jump shot rolls off, tipped around and grabbed by McCormick. To O'Reilly in the lane, leans in, fires off the glass. No good, a foul on the play as Zahn came down on him. Third foul on Jason Zahn of Northwestern. For the Dons, Helms and Merkel coming back in. And for Northwestern, Schliwe will return. 
6.55 remaining in regulation. And Northwestern Prep leading Columbus 49 to 30. The winner plays Racine Lutheran or Oshkosh Lourdes for the State Division II Championship tomorrow at 6. Matt O'Reilly on the foul line where he is a one of two so far this evening. Matt with 28 points in the regional tournament last weekend. His first foul shot is no good. Five points so far tonight for Matt O'Reilly. He gets a second shot. It's up and in. Northwestern by 18. Columbus will put on a diamond press in backcourt. Jacobson comes into Schley. We heel hand to Robinson. And the fine Northwestern point guard to forecourt. Long lob to Meyer on the far wing. Robinson now sets the offense, and Columbus sending two men after the ball. Smith baseline, 10-footer up and in. 20 points for Reggie Smith this afternoon. A 20-point lead for Northwestern. Columbus on offense. Merkel out near the center line, and Robinson on him very tight. Out top to O'Reilly. Starts to drive, and he carries the basketball. 22 Columbus turnovers today. Northwestern with only six. And that fine Northwestern defense really forcing a lot of mistakes by the Columbus unit this afternoon. There's no question about it. And, you know, they're not only getting the pressure from their guards, but also from their forward and, of course, their fine center. Northwestern getting the ball in backcourt with a 20-point lead. Columbus with zone pressure in backcourt. Robinson looking at this. Hands back to Meyer. Comes across the line to Robinson on the near wing. In the lane, Smith on a drive around Van DeVorce. Lays it in. 22 for Reggie Smith and a 22-point lead for Northwestern. Columbus led this ball game by six at halftime. So we've had a big swing. Ball kick loose at the timeline. Grabbed by Helms. Picked up by Van DeVorce. Pass into Hiding. Eric goes up off the glass and in. Eric Hiding with the basket. And Columbus trails by 20 with 5.50 left in regulation. Again, the Dons put on backcourt pressure. Robinson starts up the floor, comes across the line, and Van Devorst knocks a pass out of bounds. The ball will go to Northwestern. Kurt Shazer reports back in for Northwestern, replacing Steve Meyer. The Dons are trying to put on a half-court trap right now, and the Northwestern prep Hornets are certainly finding the open people. And moving the ball nicely, I might also add. They have really adjusted their game very well since the first half. O'Reilly back in for Columbus, replacing Merkel. Northwestern setting their offense, front court right. Jacobson between the circles. Lobs near side to Shazer. Back out top to Robinson. Northwestern may want to kill some time here. They lead by 20. Robinson baseline. Free throw line to Jacobson. To Shazer on the wing. Goes baseline. Drops the ball. And we have a hold as Schlewe went to pick up the basketball. A Columbus defender held him. That may be on Van Devorst. It is. That's uh, four on Van Devorst. Neil Schlewe, one of two on the foul line this afternoon, gets a one and bonus. Beautiful setting for high school basketball, the Mecca Arena. First foul shot up and in, and Coach Rozak, I know your girls played here a couple of years ago, and really a thrill to bring a ball club down to this facility. Oh, it's a delight, and I suppose, uh, I suppose all of us that are over 40, we especially have fond memories of this place. Second foul shot also good by Schlewe. He hits two in a row, and Northwestern again leads by 22. The Milwaukee Bucks, of course, playing in this building for many years. Columbus ball, Van Devorst on the block, and he was pushed and fouled by a, by a Northwestern defender. I guess I'd like to point out at this time, Gene, I think the, the strategy that Andy Benasek had used, you know, to begin the game with, and that was excellent for Northwestern Prep, it's just that Northwestern Prep was able to adjust to it at halftime, and secondly, the Dons became in serious foul trouble, and of course, I uh, give credit to Northwestern Prep for that also, tend to be going inside a little bit more to Smith and uh, naturally putting that type of pressure on us defensively uh, ultimately makes it difficult for the Dons to score, and uh, that's the, really the difference in that third quarter. And now a one and one for Ryan Van Devorst. Jacobson got that last foul. Van Devorst, first free throw up and in. With 5-11 remaining in regulation, Northwestern leads 55-34. to It appears the Hornets will be in that championship game tomorrow. Second foul shot good by Van Devorst. He has 10 points. 
And Northwestern leads by 20. Backcourt pressure. Smith has the ball. Helping out. Hands to Robinson. Front court pass behind the defense off Shazer's hands out of bounds. Shazer couldn't hold the long front court pass. And so Northwestern loses possession. Oshkosh Lords and Racine Lutheran getting set to play in the championship game next here at the Mecca Arena. Columbus basketball. Hurdle comes to Magistrelli outside the arc on the near side. Far wing Van Devorst fakes the three. O'Reilly near side. He'll fire a three. It's up and in. A three for Matt O'Reilly of Columbus, his 14th of the season. Columbus back to within 17, and the inbound pass is stolen by Nugent. Columbus gets it back. And as O'Reilly drives the baseline, he's stopped but fouled by Shazer. Third foul on Kurt Shazer, and Northwestern will take a timeout here. This will be their second of the afternoon. 4.37 left in regulation, and Watertown Northwestern Prep leads Marshfield Columbus 55-38. More basketball in just a moment. Big second half for Northwestern Prep. They have now outscored Columbus 35 to 12 here in the second half, and they lead by 17. Matt O'Reilly shooting free throws for Columbus. He makes the first, and that gives Matt 10 points on the day. But Northwestern still leads 55-39 with 4.37 remaining in regulation, and O'Reilly's second foul shot also good. Columbus putting on some backcourt pressure. The lead is at 15 for Northwestern. It's a full court man-to-man -man press, and the inbound pass tipped out of bounds, but last hit by Steve Nugent of Columbus. So Northwestern will retain possession. Hornets inbounding in backcourt. Robinson will throw it in. The Dons pick up their men. Robinson looking. Now lobs to a Meyer. He'll come across the timeline. The ball's knocked loose, and we have a double dribble call on Meyer. Ryan Vandevorst got a hand on the basketball, knocked it loose, and then Meyer dribbled with it again. So a turnover charge to Northwestern. Columbus has the ball, trailing by 15 with four and a half to play. Nugent to Fort Ford, out top to Magistrelli. Swings it far side, O'Reilly. Baseline, a long shot up, and it rolls out. The rebound to Zahn. He hands to Robinson. Here's a three on one. Robinson to Smith on the drive. He dunks it. A one-handed jam by Reggie Smith. And a 17-point lead for Northwestern. Boy, what a great breakout play that was by Northwestern. Here's Columbus to Fort Court. Van Devorst down the lane, hands to Magistrelli, and he drops the ball out of bounds. Boy, Northwestern, that was the play of the game here, Coach. That was a real beautiful three-on-one break by the Hornets. It certainly was, and Marshfield Columbus definitely had the momentum going at that particular point. And naturally, the Columbus Dons need to score points to set up their press. They were not able to do that in the third quarter, and of course, uh, the Northwestern Prep did not have to go against that full-court press. Don's pressing in backcourt here on the inbound play. Smith has it. He'll hand back to Jacobson, who lobs back across the line to Smith. Northwestern prep on offense, up by 17 with 3.50 remaining. Northwestern looking for a date in that state championship game tomorrow at 6 p.m. here at the Mecca Arena. Columbus putting on lots of pressure in this half-court man-to-man defense. Robinson, top of the circle on Nugent, far side to Smith, and a foul on the play as Magistrelli reached around from behind to knock the ball loose. Mike Magistrelli commits the foul, and that is number five on Mike. So Mike Magistrelli fouls out with 3.34 remaining. He leaves with two points and ends his Columbus High School basketball career. Mike has a lot of uh, sports in his future, though. He'll be playing major college football next year for Northern Michigan University as a quarterback, and so now he can start limbering up that arm and get ready for the 1992 football season at Northern Michigan. Mr. Grundy might be a little bit upset the Columbus Dons baseball coach with Eugene uh, because I think he's counting on him to throw Well, that's some how he's going to limber up his arm okay. by throwing some baseballs around. <laughs> Reggie okay. Smith shooting free throws for Northwestern. He makes the first, and that gives him 25 for the afternoon. 19 here in the second half. Hurdle back in for Columbus, replacing Merkel. Reggie Smith also playing major college sports next year. Basketball at the University of Maine. He misses the second free throw, and the rebound taken away by Meyer. And so Northwestern retains possession, leading by 18. Robinson now top, drives to the foul line, down the lane, scoop shot rolls off at a foul on the play. 
Foul at number 12. Jason Hurdle gets that one. Second foul on Jason. And Aaron Robinson back Aaron on the foul Robinson line where he is just one of four this afternoon. His first free throw is short. 3.23 left in this ball game and Northwestern Prep leads Columbus 58 to 40. Here's the second by Robinson. That one is short. Ball knocked loose and grabbed by McCormick. Columbus up the floor, down by 18. O'Reilly to the near side, spins to the baseline, stopped there by Meyer. Van Devorst out top, fakes the three, comes to O'Reilly. He's on a drive, free throw line jumper, good by Matt. 13 for Matt O'Reilly. Columbus down by 16. Three minutes left in this ball game. Northwestern in the forecourt. Smith on the far wing, dribbles up the floor and comes back outside again to Meyer. And again, the Hornets want to run some clock time. Robinson goes baseline to Meyer. O'Reilly on him tight. Meyer still holds the ball, lobs it back outside. Jacobson with it, starts to drive on Hurdle, comes near side to Robinson. In to Meyer. He swings it right back to Robinson. He'll drive the baseline, hand into Zunn, and come right back out again. Northwestern wants to kill time. 2.30 remaining in regulation. Northwestern by 16, and Nugent reaches in and fouls Robinson. Foul number That's number four Steve on Steve Nugent. And Aaron Robinson, one of six on the foul line for Northwestern today, but, Coach, there's little else that Aaron Robinson has not done successfully this afternoon for Northwestern. He's a very nice basketball player. That might be his only Achilles heel. One and one for Robinson, and the first is up and leaves it short. Ball's on the floor, still loose in the far corner, and it's shoveled by Zahn out to Meyer, and then Meyer fouled by Hurdle. Third foul on Jason Hurdle. Foul number 12, Jason Hurdle, his third. Well, really, Aaron Robinson should not have any pressure on him at all when he's on the free throw line with the way that his uh, teammates are rebounding that. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I can't remember. I, I would Steve say at Meyer least Northwestern Prep was getting at least 50% of any of the missed free throws. Steve Meyer now on the foul line. His first foul shot of the day. This one goes up, and it rolls around and falls in. With 2.23 remaining in the fourth period, Northwestern leads 59-42. Northwestern has a big free throw advantage today, but that's to be expected because of their quickness. Meyer's second free throw is off the rim and grabbed by Van Devorst. And Columbus has it back. Van Devorst dribbles in the forecourt. He takes Smith one-on-one, -on -one, goes baseline, drives the baseline again, comes underneath the Nugent. Lobs back outside. The pass broken up, loose along the far sideline, and picked up by Hurdle. He drops it again, but grabs it back. Swings it near side to Nugent. A three by Steve on the way, no good. And Smith goes high for the rebound. He was also hit by McCormick, and so we have another Columbus foul. The second on Kevin McCormick. Northwestern will take another timeout here. They'll use their third. We have 2.01 remaining in this ballgame. Our score is Northwestern Prep 59 and Columbus 42. And we'll return to the Milwaukee Arena following these messages. Reggie Smith on the line. Free throws for Reggie Smith of Northwestern. The first one is good. 26 points for Reggie Smith this afternoon. He has certainly proven himself to be quite a ball player. The second by Smith is up and in. Northwestern by 19. Their biggest lead today, 22. Under two minutes to play. Columbus basketball, Hurdle on the far side, baseline O'Reilly, and he's fouled, putting up a shot. Zahn got him. That's the fourth on Jason Zahn. And Matt O'Reilly will shoot free throws again. Ball Matt is a four of six Jason on the foul Zahn line so far this afternoon. Ricky Merkel returns for Columbus, and Ira Martin also back in. Steve Nugent out. Here comes Joel Helms back. Ryan Van Devorst leaves. A lot of Columbus fans came down from the Marshfield area today, and they're cheering the uh, Dons on. A good group of fans up the highway from North, uh, from Watertown as well, to cheer on the the Hornets. First free throw by O'Reilly is no good. He'll get one more with 150 remaining, and Columbus trailing Northwestern 61 to 42. The second up, around, and in. 18-point lead for Northwestern. Columbus again puts on backcourt pressure. Meyer starts up the floor, gives to Robinson, right back to Meyer across the timeline. 
And again, the Hornets want to hold the basketball as long as they can and kill some time. Meyer has it out top. Helms on him tight. A minute 35 remaining. Northwestern by 18, and they do a good job handling the ball. Merkel comes over and finally fouls Jacobson. Ricky Merkel committing his first foul. The Dons are trying to foul to put them on the free throw line, but the Northwestern prep moving the ball so quickly, we really, you know, the Dons really do not have a chance to actually foul them. Again, a good example there of that fine quickness that Northwestern has. Al Talens makes his first appearance for Columbus. 5'11 junior replaces Kevin McCormick, who played a very strong game for the Dons this afternoon. Andy Jacobson. Three of five on the foul line today, shooting a one and one. The first skims off and boarded in the corner by O'Reilly. 90 seconds left, Northwestern by 18. Columbus ball, O'Reilly with a three from the wing. It's missed, tipped out long and grabbed by Zahn. Ahead to Robinson. Breakout one on one with Merkel, and Robinson lays it in. Basket for Aaron Robinson, and it's Northwestern by 20. Columbus on offense. Columbus was up by six at the half. Down now by 20. Helms on the foul line. Takes the jumper. It's off the back of the rim. Martin rebounds. Banks it up. No good. And Zahn grabs the loose ball for Northwestern. Four court to Jacobson, and he'll hold the ball. Almost had a breakout, but now he wants to kill some time. Smith on the foul line. Comes right back to Meyer. And again, Northwestern killing time. We're in the final minute, and they lead by 20. Strong second half by Northwestern Prep this afternoon. Back out top, Jacobson near the center line, harassed by Al Talens. Swings it far side to Zahn, and Columbus chasing the basketball. Smith baseline, takes a jump shot, it's good. And that's 29 by Reggie Smith. 28 seconds remaining, Northwestern by 22. We have a kicked ball as O'Reilly pushes the ball to forecourt. It's kicked away by Andy Jacobson, and now several changes coming for Northwestern, and a standing ovation for the Northwestern Hornets as they come off the floor. Robinson and Smith and Jacobson and Meyer and Zahn, that sterling unit, which has given Northwestern a 22-point lead. New faces coming in now for Northwestern. John Sharp is in the ball game. Columbus also making some changes. Mike Arasito comes in. Columbus basketball, and we have a foul. The inbound pass comes to Mike Scheuer, the only freshman on the floor. And as Mike went to the basket, he was hit by a Northwestern defender. So Scheuer will be on the foul line. Chip Wilkie coming in the ball game now for Northwestern. Shazer and Westendorf also back in. I see Tim Wilcott for the Columbus Dons and now Ryan Horswell, uh, number 30, coming in for the Columbus Dons also. And that would empty the bench for Coach Benassi. Mike Scheuer on the foul line for Columbus. And Mike will get a one and one. His first free throw, no good and rebounded by Chris Schroeder. 20 seconds to play. Northwestern by 22. And we have a turnover charged against the Northwestern Hornets as Paul Zarling comes up the floor. He lost control of it. Columbus basketball from the corner. A shot up and in by Tim Wilcott. Five seconds left. Northwestern has the ball. Wilkie to forecourt, taken away from behind by Wilcott with one second remaining. And Northwestern leading by 20. And Westendorf will toss it in as the horn blows and Northwestern Prep going back to the state championship game. The Northwestern Prep Hornets come from behind to defeat the Columbus Dons in this Wissa Division II semifinal, 65-45. We'll have a full recap on this ballgame during our postgame show coming up next. <laughs> 